¿Cómo se dice hola en zapoteco una vez más? Yo no recuerdo. Padioshi. Y acá en este pueblo, ¿cuánto ganan cada día una, una trabajador, por ejemplo, en un campo? 200 pesos. 100 pesos. Quiere ver cómo se hace el pan y que está haciendo un video. Sí. <laughs> And I, wonder, I wonder what the sign says. Mi familia compra con la sangre de Cristo. Okay. Good morning to the village of La Luz. My last video, we, went, we made a huge journey up from the city of Oaxaca all the way here. It took many hours, it took about 10 hours, and we finally made it to the small pueblo in the middle of nowhere in the Sierra Mountains of northern Oaxaca. What we're going to do today is explore what a house looks like, a traditional Zapotecan indigenous house in the small villages of Oaxaca. So that being said, let's go for a walk. One of the greatest assets in any house in indigenous Mexican villages, the corn, the maíz. This is their huge pile of corn. And with this, maíz is the center bone, the main ingredient in so many Mexican dishes. So that's why every house has huge amounts and huge bundles of corn of maíz and what they do every day or every few days is that they they take these cobs over here and they take out the the kernels of corn and once they take them out they throw the rest of the cob in this trash bag over here and as you can see we made we got through a lot this morning and then the rest of the rooms are just storage you got storage room one you got this is a bedroom over here yeah this is a bedroom you got one two beds over here that's where they dry their clothes and the beds are Decent. It's made of this. There's no actual mattress. And same with this. Oh, there's a mattress for this one over here. Uh, let's keep walking. And then you got another storage room over here. And just so you guys know, about I think about 10 or 12 people live in this house. The majority of it is the storage rooms. So that's a heater over there. You got another bedroom over there. It's closed. And that's actually where I slept last night. I think someone's sleeping there right now. So I don't know. I can't show you guys, but it's a pretty big room. And this is the... The bathroom, one of the bathrooms there is in the apartment or the house over there. Let's check it out. Oh shit. <laughs> and that, my friend, is a really scared burro donkey. <laughs> All right, let's keep walking. This is the toilet. Voila. Right here. This is the toilet over here. Whew. The reason why I like exploring villages in different countries is because each village has their own feel to it, a different kind of vibe to it. This definitely has a Zapotecan indigenous vibe to it. Not that the others in Guatemala didn't, but it feels really traditional here. Like, I feel like I'm transported back 200 years back in time. So we got a bicycle and some other things. This is where they dry their clothes. Let's go up here. And this is the main, main front yard. We got three dogs hanging out there. These are guard dogs, just in case someone comes who they don't know and wants to do something for the family. That's where they wash their dishes over there. I'll give you guys a close up. This is the firewood to cook food. This over here is a Really unique washing machine. So in the West, we have washing machines, but they're more square or rectangular. This is completely different shape. It's electronic though. So you plug in, plug in uh, the cord and then you choose your option over here and then bang, the machine starts working. All right, let's continue on. This is where they wash their dishes over here. And they also marinate their meat over here and wash their meat and wash different kinds of fruits, fruits and uh, plants and even their mice, as you can see right here. So the washing station, they got the scrubber over here, and they even got a toothbrush to get the minor details. All right, doggies, gotta move out of the way. Got a YouTube video coming up. And then this is for something. That over there is their backyard and a few other houses. There's a small tienda, a small store. That's where the chicken hens are. The chicken hens. Let's check it out. Whoa. So they house their chickens over here. It looks like there's no chickens in here. Como? Dinero? Oh, ga gaina. It's the casa de gaina, see? Sí? <laughs> que bueno. Okay, so the chickens, they live here. Right? Es la mina de 
uh, para lluvia y todo. ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué necesitas una casa para los pollos? Para que no se mojen. Ok. Para criar tiernos. So you guys are probably wondering why this dude's holding a machete. So people in Mexican villages, they learn how to use machetes at a very early age, like when they're four or five. Because machetes are used for so many different things. As an example. Leña. Look at that. Oh, shit. <laughs> what else we got over here? Oh yeah, so we're supposed to go upstairs on the second level. Don't think there's any, anything actually upstairs. We got more chicken. Ta da! The second level. We got ninja turtles hanging out here. That's the orange, tur orange turtle. I forget. If you guys remember, each turtle had their own color and their own superpower. Or I could be completely wrong. I'm too old for this. I'm 31 years old. We got the backyard of the house too. A broken bicycle. It looks like this is the satellite or something. I don't know. What is it? And we got the view from the entire village. The view of the village. Different kinds of houses and shacks. Dogs are sleeping. Wake up, dogs. Come on. That's pretty much a quick tour of a traditional Zapotecan indigenous house. Pause for a second. All the houses have cactus, cacti, two in their backyards. Some flowers, more cacti. Cacti is eaten in, in Mexico. Tacos, burritos, sandwiches, tortas, and a bunch of other things. ¿Dónde? Tienda? ¿Es cerca? Okay, vamos, vamos. I guess we're going to check out the uh, tienda. Dos de aquí, ¿Dos okay, so right now we're actually going to buy some groceries, some tomatoes and onions and things like that. Even the walk to the grocery store is an adventure. Whoa, okay. <coughs> Check this out. Got the firewood stack over there. And here we are at the local tienda. This is a bigger tienda than we saw before because they sell all these kinds of fruits and vegetables, tomatoes, onions, flour, even some homemade tortillas. You got the beans over there they use. Dos, dos cuartitos de mueble rojo y dos cuartitos de negro. ¿Tú compraste frijol acá para frijol en su casa? I asked frijol, no? Oh no, it's chile. So guys, we got the chili over there. We got some Coca-Cola over there and a bunch oh. of other things. We even got some top ramen, ramen noodles, chili sauce, ketchup, lollipops, more candies, and some flour, soap, beer. I'm just kidding. They don't have beer in this village because it's prohibited to sell beer. A lot of villages in Mexico and Guatemala, indigenous ones especially, like the Zapotecan, the uh, the other ones I've been to so far, they don't sell beer because they think that, or they've had a history that when they do sell beer and tequila, mezcal, and things like that, uh, people get drunk and bad things happen in the village. So they said, screw it, we're not going to sell any beer at all or any kind of liquor. We're just going to keep it completely sober. And since then, apparently, uh, there's been a lot less crimes and robberies and domestic violence too. So that's why they don't sell beer and liquor in small villages in Guatemala, Nicaragua, and Mexico too. So just so you guys know. ¿Qué es este? Mole. Oh, mole. This is traditional Oaxacan style mole over here. ¿Cuánto cuesta por un de este? Treinta. Treinta? Oh, okay. So it's about a dollar and a half for each one of these. 
¿Y es mucho o no? ¿Es para un pollo este? Uh -huh. So this is enough to marinate an entire chicken. Dollar and a half. So we got four of these. I think for dinner tonight we're going to have four or five chickens or some kind of different meat. All right, let's go inside. The stereo. <laughs> okay, all right guys. We're in the main kitchen right now. The family center, let's check it out. I, I really like seeing kitchens in indigenous houses because they're all different from each other. The kitchens in, in like indigenous Guatemala were way different than the kitchens in indigenous Mexico. So this is a traditional Zapotecan style kitchen. They have this huge pot over here where they cook their frijol. There are beans over here and it's with the firewood and the fire and then you also got a traditional pan for making the tortillas the tortillas in mexico are a lot bigger than the ones in guatemala if you look at the size over here i mean she's making small ones today but they're usually really big so check these out this is a traditional way of making tortillas over here this is where you throw away the trash over here trash bin Uh, this is the village center right here. You have a basketball court. It says flight. I actually like the way it says flight because the I is Michael Jordan. It's Michael Jordan's symbol. This right here is the El Centro Municipal, see? And this is the main, and this over here is the main municipal building where they have the mayor the elders of the village, the Zapotecan elders. And they also have uh, the police station and any other administrative office, the main treasurer, the secretary of the village, and whatever, whatever else heads the village. Te gusta ir a la escuela or no? Sí. Tu vas a escuela? Sí. Hoy no hay escuela, no? Mm. Pero lunes hasta viernes, eh? Tres días, lunes, martes, miércoles. Y jueves y viernes no hay. Tres días no hay. Y es. ¿Qué, qué hora empieza? ¿Qué hora es? A las doce. Termina a las doce. Solamente cuatro horas a las, cada día. Dos horas a las doce. A las doce y a las dos termina. ¿Dos horas? Uh -huh. Ella habla español, ella se lo dice en zapoteco. Ah, ella habla español también, sí. sí ella, ah, habla okay. español. ella es mi tía. ¿Y cómo se dice hola en zapoteco una vez más? Yo no recuerdo. Padioshi. Padioshi. Uh -huh. Oh, Padioshi. Uh -huh. <laughs> sí. Fíjate, ¿qué dice? dicen, ¿a dónde vas? Hani Dialo. Ani Dialo. ¿A dónde va? Ah. ¿A dónde va? Ajá. Está bien, está bien. <ríe> Qué bueno. Y tú naciste acá en este pueblo. ¿Mm? Tú naciste acá en este pueblo. Vino usted acá. Sí. Qué bueno. Me gusta tu ropa. Es Eric. Alright guys, we're actually in another traditional Zapotec and indigenous house. I'll give you guys a quick tour. So we here is like their storage room. Oh, and over here is their little kitchen over here. They got all kinds of food. They got tomatoes, they got bananas, they got some kind of berries. You got something else, some kind of salsa, more salsa, more hot chile. Lots of stereos over here because Mexicans love their loud music. And then over here you got another kitchen, another, another part of the kitchen. They have the tortillas over here. So they take the dough, they roll it up, they put it here. And afterwards, I think what they do is they squish it. And once it's squished, it's, it's made into this. Once they have this, it goes right here and it cooks. And a lot of people think that these old school way of cooking is really slow. It takes hours and hours just to make a tortilla. But literally it takes five minutes. Cinco minutos. Sí. Es, es uh, listo, no? Sí. So it's really quick. And this is the front yard of the house. Let's check it out. So this is where they wash their dishes, their pots and pans. They also uh, wash their meat and their food over here to take off any any uh, any residue or anything like that. And over here they have the chickens roaming. This house is made of wood. And I don't know what this says. This is my hograd. I I'll um, I'll translate it later. But this is their front yard. We got chickens roaming. We got um, clothes hanging up. We got a Patriots hat. Let's go, Pats. 
If you didn't know this, guys, I grew up born and raised in Massachusetts. I love my Patriots. Let's go Pats. Even in Mexico, they love them here. What else they got over here? We got chickens in a cage over here. Whoa, we got four small chickens and we got two big chickens over here. They're housed. Bomea, see? Bomea? Tienen hambre. Ellos que comen. Maíz? No come. Maíz mordido. Maíz mordido. Okay, we got more chickens over there. A lot of these houses in this village actually aren't traditional Zapotecan indigenous, but more modern. Just because a lot of people, they have had their family members go to the United States to work for a few years, eight, 10, 20 years and send back money. Once they have more money, they want to build more modern houses. So you won't see that many Adobe houses, but you'll see a few, you'll see quite a few modern ones. Check out this view. We're gonna enter another traditional Zapotecan indigenous house. Check out the outside. Now let's walk inside. Me entiendes? No. All right, quick house tour. We got some Oaxacan chilies over here, cebollas, uh, onions over here. We got a lot of storage down here. And this is for, I think this is for grinding maize, grinding corn. I don't know how the machine works. You must put it in there and then you grind it up and it comes out in a different form. And over here, this is the more corn over there. This is the traditional indigenous kitchen. And these are some different kinds of beans over here. And I wonder, I wonder what the sign says. Mi familia compra con la sangre de Cristo. Okay. Ah, uh, si. Como? Uh, okay, si, está bien. So I think she wants to show me some part of the house. Atrás. That means behind. Let's check it out. Whoa, we got a lot of cactus over here. Look at this. Para comer? Look at all this. Come? Tu comes? Come. Eh, pero. Mi pero es que fruta. Aguacate es ese. ¿Qué es níspero? ¿Dónde? Ese es mi pero, es esa hoja grande es. Aquí. Uh -huh. Aquí. Ah, pero todavía no tiene. Todavía no ha dado fruto. Okay. Níspero is a fruit. I, I don't see, see right here. I think it's maybe going to bloom Acá soon. Durazno, ya están los duraznitos. Este es níspero. Durazno. Durazno, ¿qué es durazno? Mango. Durazno. 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 Ajá, ese como el que hacen de la mermelada. Okay, I have no idea what this is, but I'm just going to go with the flow. Okay, cool. Este es muy bonita. Una rosa. Rosa. Qué bueno. And this is their entire backyard. A lot of Mexican villages, they have decent sized houses. But the backyards and the front yards are completely massive. The land in this tierra, yeah. the amount of tierra, the amount of land they have is huge. Check this out. I mean, this is just part of it. If you look down, you got more and more and more land that they have. Maybe even like an acre of land that they have in this small house. Yeah. And that over there is the bathroom of this small house over here. Guys, if you've never been to Mexico, you have to realize that these people love their spices as much as Indians. So check this chili out. Chili Oaxaqueño. And this stuff is really spicy. Really spicy. I had like a small bite of it this morning. I almost cried. I drank like an entire bottle of Coca-Cola after, which I know doesn't help with it. But anyways. This right here is a, a maiz grinder, a corn grinder. So they throw in the corn somewhere here and then they grind it up and it comes out here in a different form. So. Antes, aquí, sí. era más grande. Okay. Y venían a lavar. Aquí lavaban. Aquí jugábamos. Yo ah, jugaba okay. aquí. Ah, okay, bueno. Y ahí 
Ahí nos bañábamos por turnos. Y bueno, ¿qué pasó? Porque eh, esta agua también caía aquí. Ah, ok. Porque era más grande. Sí. Entonces esta y aquí se bañaban mujeres y aquí se bañaban hombres, me parece, ¿verdad? ¿Y cómo se bañaba la casa? Solamente tú aquí y con una. Ah, el agua caía. Oh, wow. Como en, así como es. Ah, es este aquí. Ajá. Y baña. En los dos. ¿Y por qué ahora no? Um, les da pena. Mm. Let's check it out. Sí. <laughs> Guys, this is where you need to take a shower. Look at this. This is the men's section. This is the women's section. That's the men's section over there. What used to happen is that that faucet over there used to come and be draped right on here, and people used to take a shower here. So you'd stand here like this, and the water would just come down this way, and like a huge faucet side. And you could stare at the nature while you're taking a shower too. Check it out. This is actually pretty cool. Imagine taking a shower surrounded by stone and brick. Sí. Llevan el agua a las casas, estas mangueras. El agua que viene desde allá arriba. Wow. Desde la montaña viene el agua y la captan en, las, en los tanques de agua y las conectan. Y mira, van a las casas de allá abajo. Las Qué bueno. Acá este pueblo es, es medio, es alto, es pobre. ¿Qué es la estrata? Pobre, marginado. ¿Es, ¿Es muy pobre? Muy pobre. Oh. Eh, estas casas, esa como está allá, esa que tiene el ladrillo rojo. Sí. O como el cuarto donde dormiste. Sí. Lo hizo mi, el gobierno. O sea, el gobierno le, le da dinero a, al pueblo y ellos rifan. Mm. Y cada año algunas personas pueden hacer su cuartito. Okay. Otros tienen dinero y ellos construyen, pero es cuando se van a Estados Unidos. Tlacuache. Esos baños, ahí está Tlacuache, cuidado con el Tlacuache. Esos baños también son de gobierno. Oh, ok. Porque si no, son letrinas. So, ¿Qué es la procesa? Por ejemplo, si yo no tengo dinero para comprar casa, ¿qué es la procesa? ¿Tú vas al gobierno? No. Y dices, si no tengo dinero, dame un casa. Or? No. Okay. Tienes que hacer cargo aquí, trabajar aquí. Mm -hmm. Y al enero, cuando dicen a quién le va a tocar casa, entonces ya te, te pueden decir a ti. Sí. Pero no es todo el dinero, es una parte del dinero. Parte. Por aquí. Y acá en este pueblo, ¿cuánto ganan cada día una, una trabajador, por ejemplo, en un campo? 200 pesos. 100 pesos. 20 dólares. 10 dólares. No es. Cinco dólares. Cinco dólares. Sí, un dólar es 20 pesos. Pero con 10 dólares es fácil para vivir aquí en este pueblo o es sí. difícil? Sí, lo, comida sí. Eh, zapatos, ropa, internet, no podrías. ¿De cuánto es poco de dinero. Mm. Pero ellos siembran su maíz, siembran su frijol y es sí. económico ahí entonces. Wow. Sí, es posible. <laughs> Gracias. Next stop, we're actually going to see how she makes bread the traditional indigenous way. I say it upon, that's how they say it, to do bread. That's a literal English translation, but it means to make bread in Spanish. We got some firewood over here. This is her backyard. That's where there's all this corn, corn storage house. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, they're drying their clothes over here. Buenas, buenas días. Para hacer pan. Quiere ver cómo se hace el pan. Dice está haciendo un video. Sí. Buenos días. Sí. Uh, yo soy de Nueva York y yo compré pan en supermercados, pero nunca veía cómo se hace el pan. Ah. Sí. Este quiero grabar cómo se hace el pan. Sí. <risa> bueno, esto, este, este, el pancito que hacemos acá es sencillo, o sea, bueno. menos este, grasas. Ok. Gracias. Puro azúcar o sal. So este tiene azúcar y sal. Sal. Sal, no azúcar. Sal. No, poco azúcar. Poco azúcar también. Azúcar. Bueno. 
¿Y cómo se um, compraste este, um, este maíz? ¿no? ¿Qué? ¿Cómo se llama en español? Harina. Harina, harina. harina. Trigo. trigo. Harina de trigo. ¿Y a, a compraste en el mercado o en tu ¿En campo? En la tienda. No, en la tienda viene procesado de, del mercado, pues del mercado. Bueno, bueno. ¿Y después hicieron? Después. Eso, bueno. Entonces, harina, harina de trigo. Qué bueno. Ajá. Y después uh, allá, ¿sí? Después. No, acá está, sí. Se hacen los. Las, okay. las pelotitas para tortearlos, hacerlos tortilla o memela. Se fermenta primero, o sea, fermenta. pone la levadura, se amasa, sí. entonces sí, se está. fermenta, se fermenta y ya lo, lo corta uno a la medida. Mm. Entonces ya se pone a que se fermente otra vez y ya fermentado ya le pasa el rodillo rodillo. Entonces ya sí. vuelve a volver a ponerlo acá. Se levanta, entonces ya se enfría el horno y va. ¿Y cuántos días para fermentar este, este pan? Un rato, un rato. 20 minutos. 20, una hora. Una hora para fermentar aquí. Ajá. Ah, ok, qué bueno. Así ¿No? está. La otra servilleta, por favor. ¿Y ustedes uh, comen este pan o vendieron en los tiendas? Es para el gasto. Para el gasto y la gente que quiera comprar. Bueno. Se le vende. Ah, ok. ¿Y este estilo es uh, tradicional de zapoteco? Ajá, zapoteco. De, zapoteco. zapoteco. Y después aquí en el horno ah, por y ahí unas ya, horas. Este. Ajá, se calienta, se, se, deja un, se deja enfriar tantito, unos sí. minutos nada más, cinco minutos, se enfría tantito y ya va el pan, sobre una pala va para adentro. ¿Y cómo se construye este? ¿Por cuánto tiempo? Con marco. Un marquito y se, a, se moja la tierra, se bate sí. y ya saca uno, o sea, se mete molde mm. y ya se seca el adobo y ya lo vas. Wow, ok. Es, con leña, no, no, con gas, no, no. No, con nada. Puro natural. Puro natural. Qué wow. Look at that. That's hot.